Question number 15. An aircraft took off from an airport A, 0 degrees, 40 degrees west at 11.00 hours local time. The aircraft landed at airport B, 0 degrees, 65 degrees west at 12.00 hours local time. Determine the speed of the aircraft in knots. So I've drawn the positions, and get the positions of aircraft A and B, them. Now to get the speed, remember how we get the speed. Speed is given by distance divided by time taken. And you have to get, since you are required to get the speed of this aircraft in knots, so therefore we shall require to have the distance in nautical miles. When you get, when you use the distance in nautical mile divided by the time in hours, that is when you get the speed in knots. So how do we get this distance between A and B? This one is distance along the grid circle. And to get that distance in um, nautical miles, we shall get the longitude difference multiplied by 60. That is how we get it. Longitude difference, you can see they are located on different longitudes, 40 degrees west and 60 degrees west. So, well, 65. This one is 65, not 60. So, 40 degrees and 65 degrees west. So, to get the longitude difference, which is uh, theta, we just take a 65 degrees, subtract 20 degrees, and subtract 40 degrees. This is a 40, 40 degrees. So, 65 degrees, subtract 40 degrees. This will give the longitude differences. 25 degrees. To convert that to nautical miles, we multiply by 60. Because we say the distance in nautical miles is given by longitude difference, which is 25 degrees multiplied by 60. And this will give 1500 nautical miles. So this is the distance. This is the distance between A and B in nautical miles. The other thing that we need to get now is the time taken from A to B should be very careful since you are cruising from one longitude to the other so there is that difference in time between longitudes and you can see this is a local time so at um, A when the local time was um, 11 zero, zero hours we need to get the time at B what is the time at B what was the time at B during that time when it was 11.00 hours local time at A, what was the time during the time at B? So we need to use the uh, longitudes. Uh, to get the time difference, we get the longitude difference. The longitude difference that exists between these two places A and B is given by 25. So to get the time difference, you know that 1 degree for every 1 degree is a difference of 4 minutes. So what about uh, 25 degrees? This will give um, 25 times 4, which will be 100 minutes. So there's a difference of 100 minutes between A and B. 100 minutes is equivalent to 1 hour and 40 minutes. So between these two places A and B, there's time difference of 1 hour and 40 minutes. Place A, that is uh, A is ahead of time, because uh, it is more to the east of B. A is ahead of time of B by 1 hour and 40 minutes. So when it was uh, the local time was at 11:00 hours at A, at B we have to subtract because A is ahead of time by one hour 40 minutes. So we have to subtract one hour 40 minutes. So we will get 11:00 uh, hours minus one hour and um, 40 minutes, and this will give. Um, 920. So this would be at B. Time was 0920 hours. So that is very crucial. When the aircraft was taking uh, off from A at 11.00 hours, it was 0920 hours at B. Then this aircraft arrived at B. It arrived at B at 12.00 hours so now we are going to use this time 09 20 hours that is when it left that is why we have taken the local time when it was leaving at a 11 hours it was 09 20 hours 
Then it arrived at B, the local time at B, yeah, was 12.00 hours. So we're going to use this time, to get the time difference, we're going to use 12.00 hours. Uh, we subtract 09, 09.20 hours. And this will give um, a difference of um, 2 hours 40 minutes. So 2 hours 40 minutes. That was the time taken by the aircraft. So you have to be very careful here when you are calculating a time by taking into consideration the time difference between these two longitudes. So to get the time taken, I've used the local time at B. That is when the aircraft left A. That is 09, 20 hours. Then the time it arrived at B, 12.00 hours. So when you get the time difference, 12.00 hours minus 09, 20 hours, you get 2 hours, 40 minutes. 2 hours, 40 minutes is equivalent to 2 and 2 thirds hours, which is the same as uh, 8 over 3 hours. Now, having these two, we have the distance in nautical miles and you have the time in hours. So we can now give the, we can give the speed. The speed is distance, which is 15 nautical miles, then divided by the time in hours, which is 8 divided by 3. And when you work out this using a calculator, 1500 divided by 8 over 3 hours, this will give uh, 562.5 knots. Knots. 